Hi there. So I'm gonna go, and go over some uh, link list based on Node and how to do Node to create link lists, rather how to manipulate them. Uh, so let's get started. So link list is just a data structure, just like array, just like any other data structure. The only difference is it has two parts to it. One is data and one is Node. So when we create a linked list, when we first create it, we'll assign with, uh, let's for example, if I want to assign data here with 23 and on the first node it will be N1. You can think of the node as an address-ish, but it's an a uh, rather a gate address where you have to go for each gate. There's a gate there. So whenever you start, you always start from the head. Uh, if I were to make a second node, I just name it n2, and I assign some value in there, it will go to directly from here to here. So it kind of acts like a long haul of multiple door or gate. To access n2, you have to access through n1 and then go to n2. And the same way to store in to manipulate with it. You always start with a head. That's a head pointer. You always start from the head. And right now, actually, the head is right here. So in order to get N2, you actually have to go into N1, go in, and then you go in again, you get N2. Now, let's make another one. Uh, let's make a 13 and then N3. With here, we'll have to... I will later on show you guys the code on how to do this, but this is just concept explaining right now. With this, right now, if I assign it correctly, N2 will be pointing towards N3, and if I were to get value of N3, I would say get data N3. Something like that. We will later on uh, declare our own class and method, and with that, it'll come out as 13. If I type in this into console, it'll come out as 13. However, if I were to get the next data, but there's none, there's nothing there. If I were to type a get dot next n3 dot data, I believe that's how I do it, but I have to double check, but let's assume that's how I get the next one after n3 it will go up as null because there's nothing assigned there. No matter what happens, that will happen um, if there's nothing assigned to it. Same thing goes for other uh, value. If you assign M4 and then M5 with whatever 212 or 321, these will have to point towards each other rather towards the next node that you have. If you want to switch or remove, uh, let's assume we want to remove uh, N2. We'll have completely demolish this. Rather, have to move this out and just connect these in. So three steps. So take this out, rather disconnect the N2 uh, towards N3 and have N1 point towards N3. You don't even have to disconnect it. Just disconnect the diff uh, in between here and connect on one to N3 directly. Now, technically, in position wise, this will be zero and this will be one. So this will be two because in um, Java you always start with zero. Not sure about the language, but mainly that's the main concept. And if you want to insert into a list array you would get rid of this, you would disconnect from here, you point this into N2, and then point N2 into N3. That's how you insert. And if you want to switch, you just basically do all what just happened combined. So keep in mind, these are still connected. Right now it's pointing at N2, and this Point N2 is pointing at N3. That's still the case, 
I just moved up, moved up there. But in Java, in the coding, it does not do anything. This is just for better representation of what's happening right now. If you were to switch it, you would remove the pointer to N3 and have N2 move to N4. After that, you would type in next action to have N3 point towards N2. That way, it goes N1, N3, N2, N4. And then it goes to null. There should be an arrow there. I'm not sure why they didn't put it there. But this is a, essentially a basic concept of linked list.